Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own kinetic typography projects. So the first step is to find a song or any example of audio that is text driven so it'll be, you know, visually interesting. Um, I've got this Black Eyed Peas song, ba Bump, that I'm going to go ahead and import in or um, just, you know, you can drag it in. And then I'm going to make a new comp. I'm going to title it Kinetic typography um, and it's 15 seconds I'm gonna choose a color that'll look you know the text will be very visible on it so a deep blue not a light blue but you know like something around here um, Ooh, a dark cyan very snooty color anyway so once you've got that uh, drag your audio into your timeline and then I like to go ahead and do this at the very beginning drag your whole composition at this point into the render queue Click the output module uh, lossless, and then check the audio output, press OK, and render. And we do this so we can hear the audio in the RAM preview. And when this is done, it'll make a very startling noise, and we can get started with the magic. Yeah, it's magic. Oh! Okay, anyway. Now, we bring it back here. Let's play it a little bit. Okay. And so it's really, you can hear it's really low. Um, it's supposed to be Will I Am, but it's like so, uh, it's being played back, you know, as fast as your machine can handle. So it's going to, it's not going to be at full time. And so you got to be aware of what, um, of, of how that'll look. The, this, your RAM preview doesn't preview things in real time, just close to it so you can view. Um, so that's a good thing to remember for clarity. Uh, now go ahead and choose the text layer, make a little new text. Um, the first word is it's. It's that beat that make ya bump ya bum, right? That's it. Hey, this is the beat. Nope, I'm just kidding, it's hey. So, you know, this is a chance for you to get creative. You can use any sort of font you want. I usually use Tahoma. Um, you can vary it up for every word, but I just like using fonts that are easy to read. Um, so, make that a good size and then right click or control click on the layer and uh, make it a 3D layer so now you got this little three dimensional thing here and um, it, with that you can transform it however you want uh, to make every word different and you know make them like play with each other like um, not in a sick way but <laughs> you know like visually interesting like you can make like a word like come over here with like using keyframes um, but what I also like to do is when you have a gr big group, instead of making a bunch of little pre-comps, just um, get a layer new camera. And um, yeah, when you have this camera, you can just like make a bunch of little keyframes, um, you know, with any text. Like, you know, like, oh, on beat three, I want to go to, I want I want everything to shoot down, so... Then we'll just make we'll like move the exhortation like all the way there, and so it'll be like, hey, like let's see what that looks like. Hey. Okay, on second thought, I that's a little too late, so I'm gonna go ahead and shift all of it back, like this. And let's see. Hey. <laughs> now it's a little slow looking, so we'll just put it up. Hey. Now you can't even see it, so in that case, you know, and it's just, kinetic typography is all about playing around and experimenting with different things, seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, that, this is just a, a little example to get you started. Um, and what I like to do, instead of making a new text layer every time, I just like to uh, control copy, control V, um, and then just like edit it. And, and then with that, you can just drag the new text and like, you know, resize it like from, but from like, from the perspective of your last uh, piece of text, which I think that also speeds up your process. Anyway, this is uh, only a little fraction of kinetic typography and, but this is, these are just the building blocks that you need to get started on really amazing projects. Hope this has been helpful. Comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.